This is a beefsteak mushroom. Uh, it's it's a little bit eaten up by slugs. Slugs are pretty quick to get these. Uh, they're not real tasty. Definitely not as tasty as a morel. But they're worth eating, I guess. Damn. Freaking spider in there. <laughs> a little jumpy of that spider. Don't like spiders. There's a slug. He's just tearing it up. So, hopefully I can find one. It's not like that. And then right beside it, we have wintergreen. And then here's another wintergreen. Nice berry there. Uh, occasionally, there's no mistake in the flavor. So, I mean, there is one other plant I've seen that has red berries. But, uh, nothing, you know, if you take a nibble, you know what it is. You can smell it, too. And these ones are kind of, most of the time, they're not splotchy. These these ones are kind of splotchy. That, I don't, that's probably because they're from last year. And, uh, this winter kind of took over. And they're, they're pretty rough. When they're new, they're nice and... You know, soft. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty. They're all over around here. Right here is a raspberry bush in spring. Uh, this. Right there's the trailhead. We're barely on the cross country trail. We've already found like four different things. Okay. Here's a strawberry plant. Uh, they usually travel by vines. They just keep going. But there's a nice little area of them and we're still barely away from the trailhead so area right here is blueberries really just starting to bring out the leaves uh, this is all deer moss that's growing in uh, uh, deer moss up there, and then pines. Uh, plus, this is all peppered with last year's burnt winter green. Hey guys, uh, found some fiddleheads. Okay, let me see if I can get that camera. Here's a fiddlehead. Now, this is a uh, a bracket fern you can tell because it has like little fists and they come out in three different ways and that's when they start leafing off but they're pretty young uh, when they get older than this and start coming out like this they'll, uh, they'll start to get woody towards the bottom but yeah that's a Good find. I'm gonna grab me some more of those. Okay, we found a, a couple more things here on our trek through the woods. Uh, these right here are also um, fiddleheads. These are the ones that actually look like a fiddlehead. Um, they're called an ostrich fern. These are the most prized of the ferns uh, when people eat them. Uh, these are open a little more, I guess, than normal. Uh, here's another batch. This one is probably prime. Uh, I'll probably take all of them. Um, I got a book that has a bunch of recipes. I'm going to try that out. Okay, so um, one, one way to really tell the ostrich fern, it's got 
some little spines, call them scales. There's, there's not a lot of them. And there's a deep groove down the inner side. So, and a lot of times they glow, they, they do, they grow in clusters and they always seem to be facing each other. Okay. Ash here, just got home from the woods. Uh, got a good amount of ferns, uh, ostrich ferns and the bracket ferns. I'm gonna, to process these, I'm gonna have to, you know, um, take and keep them crisp. I'm gonna put them in some cold water, uh, wash them off real good. Then with the ostrich ferns that we found, um, I have to take and descale those. Um, the bracket ferns, I just think I have to just kind of like make sure there's no uh, fine hairs on them. Not a lot of work with those. And then I'm going to look up a nice recipe and see how that works out. Okay, later guys.